Good morning. It is 6.30 in the morning and somebody has decided that this is just the perfect time to mow their lawn. The only reason why I'm up early is because it's breakfast day at work. And guess whose turn it is? Mine. And guess whose oven is broken? Mine. So I went to order bagels last night from Bethesda Bagels because they have a location near the metro. And it wouldn't let me order because I wanted to pick them up at like eight o'clock this morning but they closed last night, but it wouldn't even let you order online for eight o'clock the next morning to pick them up. So it's 6.30, they open at 6.35, fingers crossed that their online ordering also opens. And this is my outfit of the day. I have this top from White House Black Market. I have my Madewell jeans, and then I have some cute like lace-up ballet shoes from um, me too. And I have to pick up bagels, get my coffee, get cream cheese because the bagel place wanted to charge me like $5 for cream cheese when I can just go to Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I have a site visit tour, so I need to pack my bag for that. Go back to work, work a little bit, and then I'm gonna go to a steel case showroom tour. They just moved to a new space. So we got invited to like a happy hour at that. And I need to take this girl outside. Okay, so it did not call for this rain until this morning. And my neighbor is still outside blowing leaves or something now, I don't know. There appears to be a pop-up, which is pretty cool. This is by the Roslyn Metro Station. We did a page turn, which is basically running the client through the construction documents that we printed out, just to make sure that they understand any, yes. everything and that we're including anything that they definitely wanted to include before we sent it off to the county for permit. So what I'm doing now is I took the train back and I'm gonna go to Sweet Greens to get some lunch.
That burned my tongue. So last night when I got home from the happy hour, I was surprised by this box by Warby Parker. This is not sponsored, but Warby Parker, please sponsor me because I have bad eyesight. I found my box from Warby Parker. It says, good things await you. If you don't know what Warby Parker is, they're um, a glasses company. So they, um, optricianist, I think that's the word. So they make glasses frames and then they also have uh, stores where they sell the frames and sunglasses. And they also have some that actually have like eye doctors on site so that you can get your prescription. I already went to an eye doctor and got my prescription. So Grace actually recommended these to me because they start at $95, which is pretty good for like a really nice frame. And my last glasses, um, I have had them for like five years. So I think it's time to buy new ones. And we went to the store and tried them on. And then I found um, actually an ad on my Instagram. So their ads work that they will send you five pairs of glasses for free that you can try on. So I have my box. I'm going to try them on. Ta -da! And it comes with like cute little instructions on like how to do it, how to send them back, how to order them once you have your prescription. So it's really cute. I ordered two of the same frames in like different colors and then the rest are all different frames and all different colors. So this is the Sullivan and they're like tortoise shell color. These are pretty similar to the ones that I have right now. So I just have like the typical rectangular glasses. I'm sure that there's a terrible glare because I don't have like the anti-glare lenses on them. They're just like fake lenses. Uh, this is the one that we kind of picked out in the store, but in the tortoise shell frame and I got the pink frame. I got the rose water frame. So these are the Louise. Class number two. I found that these like clear frame glasses are really popular right now, so I wanted to try those to see how they looked, and I really like pink. And then I got another one in like a rose crystal frame, so it's a little more pink. These are the Wally. They're a little more rectangular. And then I have Laurel in a light peach crystal. So these are kind of a bigger frame. And I think we agreed that these were like a little too big borderlining on those like 80s glasses. I'll post it on my Instagram and put up a poll just to kind of like see what the general consensus is. And then I'll decide. Also let me know in the comments down below which ones are your favorite. So I need all the opinions possible please. And then these are the Louise, so it's the same frame as like these guys, but these are in black. So I have black glasses right now, and I like them. I just think that I wanted something different, so I'm kind of torn between like the tortoise shell and maybe clear ones. So if you have any input as to like what your favorites are, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a poll on my Instagram, so also follow me on Instagram so you can like keep up to date if I do more things like this. I'm home from work, I've taken Eska out, I've picked up a little bit and I'm going to take these clothes to Buffalo Exchange, which is a thrift store, because some of these are pretty new and I just never wore them. So if I could even get like 10 bucks out of it, I'd be pretty happy. So the rest, um, I'm gonna donate to Goodwill. So this is from when I was cleaning out my closet and I still haven't done anything about that giant bag of clothes yet. So today I'm doing something about it. I also have to go by the store to get Miss Thing here some food. Change of plans. Apparently, every single school in Washington, D.C. and Northern Virginia and Maryland are having their graduation ceremonies today. So, 
I'm not going into the middle of DC. I'm going to stay right here and go to Safeway to get dog food and come home, do some yoga, and cook myself some dinner. <laughs> Another change of plans. So I realized while I was taking Eska out on a walk that Amazon now has dog food. So I'm gonna do yoga while my groceries get delivered to my front door. In case you couldn't tell by my shirt and my red lips, it's game day. So we're going to meet up with a few friends later. There's a ton of like awesome restaurants and bars around the park, so we're gonna go there. And then later is Game of Thrones, so we're gonna come back here, have like a Game of Thrones party. But first. <laughs> Some pineapple. 